In this video, we are going to go over how to start a black soldier fly larvae colony. First, you will need to acquire some PVC pipe. I'm cutting mine in half so it's easier to work with. Next, you will locate a large bin. I'm outlining where the PVC goes so that I know where I need to make openings in the bin. To create these openings, you can use whatever methods are best for you. To be frugal, I'm using what I have, which is currently an electric screwdriver and heating a piece of metal to poke holes into the bin. Some sort of drill or a good pair of scissors could also do the trick. I just didn't have those on hand at this time. Once you are finished, we will need to cut any excess PVC pipe. To do so, I am marking with a permanent marker where I want to cut on the outside and an inside marking that will come into play later. You can then use an electric saw or a hand saw to saw off the remaining PVC pipe that is no longer necessary. Using the outside marker that you created on the PVC, you can get these two sections as close to the same as possible. So this first portion is what will stick out of our bin while the rest will be contained in our bin. I'm going to saw at an angle so that some of the PVC pipe is exposed. This will allow light into the enclosure. Take care to not cut above the interior marking that we made inside of our PVC. I clean up the sides of the PVC with some sandpaper so that it's not too sharp. A completely optional step, I'm using a flame to heat the interior of the opening before putting the PVC in. This way, the melted plastic will solidify around the PVC. I'm then attaching two right angle connectors to the exterior end of my PVC. These will be connected with a T connector, although there is a bit of space in between these. I use excess PVC from my original cuts to create smaller pieces that will fill in these holes. When installed correctly, there should be no gaps where bugs could fall out. You're going to point your T connector downward. This way, when the larvae climb up, they will fall down into a collector. Now that we've started the base, we need to work on the frame. You will next need to forage for some wooden planks. I was lucky enough to find some under this abandoned shed. Whether you want to meticulously measure or haphazardly screw things together is totally up to you. I'm more of the haphazard type myself and I gotta say it worked pretty well. You should really be using some gloves or some safety goggles. I personally do not because I enjoy the chaotic element of possibly cutting my hand open. I'm installing a spring hinge so that when I open this little gate it'll automatically close shut. Your frame will likely not look like the one that I built. There really is no right or wrong way to go about about this as long as your frame can rest comfortably on top of your bin. Once finished, the frame should be able to stand on its own on top of the bin. To create the opening to insert compost, I'm going to use an old container. This way I can open and close the lid of the container at my leisure with minimal bug loss. I use a similar approach for my collection container by cutting off the top so that it will fit on the PVC pipe. I create small openings so that the adult flies will be able to get inside of the bin. To make a comfortable place for the female flies to lay their eggs, I am putting pieces of cardboard and old paper towel rolls onto a chopstick for securing it underneath. So now I will have a functional screwable lid for compost as well as the small opening gate that I created earlier. Before attaching screening, your project may look something like this. The screening can be attached whatever way you see fit. Here I'm using a clear string to go through my mosquito netting and through a hole I've drilled in the top of my enclosure. The excess netting is then tied off around the bottom of the frame. Similar to a fitted bed sheet, this will cinch the ends of my mosquito net when the strings are tied tightly. This will ensure that no adult flies can escape when flying around their enclosure. The excess netting will then be trimmed. This will be repurposed on other parts of our project. I would like to cover the enclosure in another layer of screening. 
This will ensure that the adult flies are kept inside the enclosure. Screws are then used to secure the frame to the bin. These screws will also pass through the mosquito netting, holding it in place. A new day has dawned, and with it, it brings the promise of the new soldier fly larvae. Before they arrive, I'm putting the finishing touches on my frame. This includes the last layer of mosquito netting and cleaning up the look of things a little bit. I make sure everything is nice and secure with some more screws. It would be very helpful if I had a staple gun or something of that nature, but I do not. So I am just using more screws to secure the frame to the bin and make sure the mosquito netting is secure. Our larvae have arrived and it's time to introduce them to their new home. 